what is up guys so we're going to be talking about the legendary duelist 6 here we actually have 12 new cards that have actually been revealed yes that's actually 12 new cards not reprints at all so very excited about this uh pretty much just four per protagonist uh, so yeah, let's go over them. The first card is called Elemental Hero Sunrise, a level 7 Light Warrior Fusion Effect Monster, 2500 Attack, 1200 Defense. Uh, requires two hero monsters with different attributes. Uh, must be fusion summoned, and uh, you can only use the first and third effects once per turn. First effect, if this card is special summoned, you could add a miracle fusion from your deck to your hand. Uh, very nice that it's special summoned, so that means if you use Call of the Haunted or Back to the Front, then you could still trigger off his effects, so it's definitely very nice. Second effect, monsters you control gain 200 attack for each different attribute among monsters you control. Not particularly amazing, but that being said, there are a good variety of attributes in heroes. Third effect, when an attack is declared involving another hero monster you control, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So that's a very interesting effect. Overall, I don't see this as a particularly broken card, but uh, if someone can actually make something work with Miracle Fusion, then they can definitely abuse this card. Second, we have Favorite Hero, Equip Spell, Equip only to a level 5 or higher hero monsters. So obviously something to your uh, fusion monsters as your main bosses, so that would be really cool. Otherwise, you could equip it to Neos potentially. Uh, you can only use the second effect once per turn. First effect, while this card is in the field zone, uh, the equip monsters gain attack equal to its original defense. Also, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Second effect, at the start of the battle phase, you can activate one field spell from your hand or deck. I could already see where this is coming. I mean, the card artwork itself has Flame Wingman. You obviously want to activate Skyscraper, so I'm very happy about this particular one. Uh, going to be excited to actually just play the old generic heroes from the GX era. Third effect, when the attacking equip monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can send this card to the graveyard. That monster can attack a second time in a row, so very awesome. Next, we have Magistry Alchemist, Normal Trap. You can only activate one of this card's name per turn. Banish four hero monsters from your graveyard and or face up on the field. Then target a hero monster in your graveyard, special summon it, ignoring special summoning conditions. And if Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind attributes are all among the monsters you banish to activate this effect, double the summon monster's original attack and if you do that negate the effects of all face up cards your opponent con currently controls uh so that's going to be a pretty hard condition to actually meet but that being said i do think that the fact that you can just summon any of your fusion hero monsters from the grave is going to be very awesome. Now for Yusei's support, we have a Satellite Warrior, level 10 Dark Warrior Synchro Effect Monster, 2500 attack, 2000 defense, one tuner, uh, one or more non-tuner synchro monsters, so it does require synchro as a material. Uh, first and second effects can only be used once per turn, so first effect if this card is synchro summon, you can target cards your opponent controls, up to the number of synchro monsters in your graveyard, destroy them, if you do, this card gains a thousand attack for each card destroyed by this effect. Second effect, if this card is synchro summon is destroyed, you could special summon up to three level 8 or lower warrior synchron or starter synchro monsters from your different names with different names from your graveyard that is very insane i do like this particular card that's a definitely a really good boss monster so uh very excited to actually try out this card uh but that being said it is very specific to yusei's deck next we have satellite synchron level 2 dark machine tuna effect monster 700 attack 100 defense you can only use the first and second effects once per turn first effect if a monster is special summoned from your graveyard you could special summon this card from your hand second effect if there's a synchro monster in your field and or in graveyard with warrior synchron and or stardust in its original name you can make this card's name uh or level become four until the end of this turn so pretty much just to help you accelerate your synchro summonings uh definitely love that it could special summon itself easily there and then we have scrap iron signal counter trap card so that's a very powerful card uh, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect while you control a synchro monster that requires a synchro monster as material and get the activation also after that set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard that is insane a negate card that can actually just reset itself i could easily see this card actually work in tgs as well so i'm going to be very excited to test this out in tgs and see how it goes next 
we have uh, Yuma's support card, so we have Gaga Gaga Magician, rank 4 Dark Spellcaster XC's effect monster, 2000 attack and defense, 2 level 4 monsters, first effect can only be used once per turn, so first effect you can detach one material, target an XC's monster in your graveyard, accept itself, special summon it, but negate its effects. Second effect, a utopic future XC's monster that has this card as material gains this effect. You can detach two materials from this card, then target one XC's monster you control. Until end of this turn, it becomes 4000 attack and it negates its effects. Um, not particularly too amazing, I guess it's to help you with your whole rank up magic plays. Uh, but that being said, we'll have to see a few more other cards to actually get a grasp of uh, how good this card could potentially be. Then we have Dodo -do Dwarf, uh, Go 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 Glove, level 4 Earth Rock Effect Monster, 0 attack, 1800 defense, first and second effects can only be used once per turn. During your main phase, you can special summon one Zubabag or Gagaga -ga -ga monster from your hand. Second effect, if this card's in your graveyard and you control a Go 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 or Dodo -do -do monster other than Dodo -do -do Dwarf, uh, Go 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 Glove, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Very interesting, obviously just to help you get into your XC summoning. Very simple effects. Future Dive. Quick play spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. So target a utopic future XC's monster you control. Apply one of these effects uh, to that monster you control for the rest of this turn. It can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. Or, if it battles an opponent's monster, negate that opponent's monster's effects during the damage step only. Or, each time it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. So, uh, definitely a good variety of different effects you could actually apply depending on your situation. Moving on, we have Yuya support now. So we have Performer Power Imperion Magician, level 4 Dark Spellcaster Pendulum Effect Monster, Pendulum Scale 8, 1500 attack, 1000 defense, Pendulum Effect, you can only use the first cards, uh, the first effect once per turn. So when exactly one Fusion, Synchro, or Xyz monster you control that was the special summon from the extra deck is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you could special summon the destroyed monster, then destroy this card. Monster effect, you can only activate the first effect once per turn. Uh, during your main phase, if this card is normal or special summon this turn, you can activate this effect. Apply these effects for the rest of this turn depending on the monster of card types among the other monsters you currently control. So if you have a fusion, then this card can attack directly. If you have a synchro, your opponent cannot activate monster effects. If you have XCs, this card's attack becomes double its original, and if you have a pendulum, then during the end phase, add one pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. So, uh, a lot of good variety of effects here. I don't particularly see this as a particularly amazing effect or amazing card, uh, but that being said, there are the other boss monsters that we have as well. Next we have Smile Action, a field spell. When this card resolves, each player can banish up to 5 spells from the graveyard face down. When any monster declares an attack, activate this effect. The attack player can apply this effect. Randomly add one of those cards banished by this card's effects. Then you can discard it and if you do negate the attack. If you did not discard it, any battle damage you take for the rest of this turn is doubled. So definitely a really nice effect, uh, similar to the whole action spells. So. I do like how they're actually incorporating a whole playstyle actually from a particular series of the show uh, into the game itself. So definitely going to be very excited. We did actually uh, see that in Chaos Impact there are two action spells that have actually been released in this. So I would love to see more action spells actually being incorporated into the real game. That will be very fun. Lastly, we have Pendulum Dimension, Continuous Trap. When you special summon a monster of the following types using a Pendulum Monsters as material while this card is in your spell trap zone, you can activate the appropriate effect, but you can now apply the same effect of Pendulum Dimension again this turn. So, Fusion, special summon one monster from your deck and defense with the same original level as that Fusion monster, but negate its effects. Synchro, add a Polymerization from your deck to your hand, and Xyz, take a tuner from your deck whose level is lower than the or equal to the Xyz monster's rank, and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Uh, so definitely very interesting in the sense that you could actually just uh, make some synergy out of the different fusion summoning methods you're actually using. So overall, I'm definitely very excited about all these cards. We also have a few cards here that have actually been confirmed as rarities, but that being said, uh, you guys could actually see on the screen itself. 
So can't wait for this set to actually come out. I think I'm mostly interested in the heroes. But that being said, do leave your thoughts down below on what you think of these new cards. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.